Hello, my name is Matthew Bluto, and this is my video application for the SSI Fellowship 2021. I'm originally from Canada, and my education is in physics. My undergraduate degree at Acadia University is where I was first introduced to programming in a scientific context through Java and C courses and joining the programming competition team. Keen to further explore programming and physics, I pursued a PhD in computational atomic and plasma physics based at the Cullum Center for Fusion Energy. During this time, I worked primarily with Python and Fortran codes that model the atomic processes in fusion plasmas, and I learned two important lessons. First, the incredible power and efficiency that well-maintained codes could offer science. And second, the incredible agony and inefficiency that researchers can encounter when handling poorly maintained codes. It became my primary concern to try to improve any research software that I touched. To focus on this task full time, I moved into a research software engineer role in the central RSE team at the UK Atomic Energy Authority. The RSE role has afforded me time to consistently develop my software engineering skills like testing, documentation, and requirements collection. And I pass this information along to researchers at the lab. Part of this happens through the software carpentry workshops that I help run with colleagues about once a quarter, supplemented by a software best practices course that we've developed in-house. The bulk of my time is spent doing project work for research groups within our organization to help them develop better software. Some examples of my work are adding OpenMP capability and containerizing existing code bases. Community building has been an unexpected but welcome part of my role, and I was on the organizing committee of the online software community unconference at UKAEA. My input to this event was heavily influenced by attending two exceptionally run online events, the SSI Collaborations Workshop and the EuroPython Conference in 2020. Outreach and communication are activities I've taken a personal interest in since becoming an RSE, and the SSI Collaborations Workshop inspired me to start blogging and tweeting about my work. Along the way, I've made a contribution to Source, facilitating a panel discussion on the role of RSEs to COVID-19 modeling. And outside of work, I have authored an educational children's book on nuclear physics. During my time as an RSE, I've noticed that there are a few readily available resources and pathways for researchers at the novice to intermediate level of software engineering. Intro software carpentry courses are great, but participants are consistently asking us what course they should take next. Moreover, researchers with existing coding experience learn skills in a piecemeal manner that is not fit for purpose. Our partial solution to this at UKAA is peer-to-peer -peer knowledge exchange through a coding discussion group. The coding discussion group consists of bi-weekly presentations by community members and provides them with a forum to exchange ideas and techniques for writing research software. However, the discussion group is in the format of slide presentation followed by questions, which limits the practical experience participants can gain. My plan for the SSI Fellowship is to build solutions to these problems. First, I would like to trial an intermediate level software engineering workshop at UKAA. And second, I would like to nurture our coding discussion group and solidify it as a community of practice. I've identified Code Refinery as a potential partner to help deliver the intermediate level workshop after reading a blog post by SSI fellow Lucy Wally. The Code Refinery website recommends doing the instru Carpentries instructor training, so I've already signed up for the SSI run session in March. Then I will participate as a helper in one of the Code Refinery workshops to get a sense of how they are run. The support of SSI funds for remote participation hardware like a better camera and microphone will ensure participants can see and hear me clearly. Next, I will seek to book a workshop with Code Refinery for delivery to UKAA researchers. Since Code Refinery is funded by Nordic countries, the fellowship will help with any fees for the workshop, and the help of the SSI in negotiating this step could prove useful given its involvement in the similar Carpentries network. Finally, I and any interested colleagues will help deliver the virtual workshop with the aim that we will run future workshops ourselves. Blogging about this experience will help disseminate the knowledge of how to run similar workshops elsewhere in the UK. For the coding discussion group, I will start by making the existing format more accessible. I know from personal experience that asking questions can sometimes be intimidating, and I feel that a subscription to the Slido platform purchased with fellowship funding will help reduce this barrier. I will also explore live captioning options. At the same time, I'll work with colleagues towards hosting something called the Coding Dojo. A Coding Dojo is an event where a group of people collectively solves a coding problem using a methodology like test-driven development. For me, this gets to the core purpose of a community of practice, collective learning through interaction. One of the main challenges for this event will be adapting it to an online environment, and the fellowship funds will help obtain a shared IDE service that allows participants to simultaneously edit source code in a consistent environment. Again, blogging will be an essential part of sharing this knowledge for use in the broader community. Finally, I will bring back information on best practices to the coding discussion group by attending the software engineering track of the International Conference for Computational Science.
and the fellowship will help with those fees. I've already noted a few ways in which the funds of the fellowship will assist with my plans. However, I see the true benefit of the fellowship as facilitating access to a network of like-minded individuals with whom I can collaborate and a knowledge base of training and community building. And collaboration has already started. I've contacted Lucy Wally about her previous work with Code Refinery, and we have agreed to keep in close contact about how we each progress with offering intermediate workshops. In addition, UKAA has a long relationship with the nearby Harwell Lab run by STFC, and I'm communicating with SSI fellows there to see how we can help each other foster a stronger collective software community. Please see the written component of my application for further details on this. Thank you for listening.